What is going on everybody? KJ Wiggums back with another episode on Bucks County and we are on day four of midsummer and we have a little contract that I picked up for about fourteen hundred dollars, a little fertilizing contract. Uh, there's not a whole lot of stuff going on on the farm here, so I figured I'd pick something up. Uh, just a little something. Uh, like I said, it's only $1,400. Field 34 down there by the field that we just bought of clover. Uh, but you can see our oats are coming in nice and strong, and our potatoes are as well. Now, I know in uh, one of our upcoming episodes, we are going to have to deal with where we are going to start storing these. Uh, I think after the next video actually is going to be a little bit of a detailing around the farm video uh, like I had done back in the beginning a uh, couple of the first you know the first 10 episodes that we had started here where I'd done some detailing work and just did it to a time lapse I think I'm going to do that uh, coming up here soon uh, I want to get a road put in I want to get some stuff squared away for where we're going to be putting and storing our potatoes for now until we get everything figured out see if this is actually going to pay off so let me go ahead we'll get the uh, 4020 I've already got it fired up and running we'll get that hooked up to the sprayer and we will head on down to field 34 now I did have on Facebook uh, someone sent me a mod for a sprayer uh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head but it'll pop up on the screen right now thank you so much for that that mod was really cool looking I do plan on uh, getting it downloading it and checking it out and seeing how we can uh, incorporate that into the farm as we are uh, as we grow I think for now I didn't download it yet so I don't know how big it was but just from the uh, pictures, it looked like it'd be a pretty decent size sprayer. Uh, definitely an upgrade from what we <laughs> what we have on the tractor currently. So we'll head down here to field 34, and then we will go ahead and get all of that started. Alrighty, just on the other side of the Keystone restaurant here, field 34 will be on our right side. Yep, there it is right there. And I believe up on this road, there should be a dirt road up here, and that's where the entrance to the field should be. I could just cut through here, but I don't want to just drive off the shoulder of the road. Alright. Oh, so it's not a dirt road. It's an actual blacktop. I thought there was a dirt road that ran alongside this field. Uh, I got this one here. Does this come up to the field, though? I'm not sure if it does or not. Um, no. It doesn't, but we got this little entrance here, so we'll cut through the trees here. Yeah, we'll cut through and we'll just start right here, so let's go ahead and get this unfolded. Perfect. Let's go ahead and kick this off. So, there we go. We're spraying. Perfect. So, like I said, there's not a whole lot of stuff going on on the farm uh, in this episode. Kind of just doing a little bit of a, uh, just a little bit of odds and end work around the map and just doing some stuff while everything's growing. Uh, I'm 
curious to see uh, where we're going to be putting the storage for the potatoes. I don't have a plan <laughs> um, for where I'm going to be putting those yet, so it is going to take me a little bit of time to look around and see exactly where I think the best spot for that's going to be. Um, but this is going to help bring in a little bit of extra cash. I'll probably pick up one more. I know there was a couple uh, $14,000 uh, fertilizing contracts. Uh, we got to start saving up for our potato harvester and everything so we can start to get that rolling. I think we're still about $20,000 short uh, from being able to get that. But with us still having about nine days in game before we have to worry about harvesting i think with the horses and the windmill and stuff like that and just picking up a contract here and there uh will definitely be good money wise there so and that's just getting the potatoes that's not talking about the the washer and the sorter and stuff like that either so that's going to take a little bit of time all right well we're about three quarters of the way through this field and sitting at 83 percent for fertilizer definitely going by a lot quicker i thought about time lapsing it but i had figured since it was such a small field that we'll just do a couple jump cuts here and there i'm not quite sure how long this video is going to go we're rolling up on about 10 30 in the afternoon whoops sorry 10 30 in the morning uh and i guess there is I can look and see what odds and ends stuff need done up at the farm. Maybe go over a couple plans I have for where we are possibly going to be putting uh, our storage for our potatoes. I still haven't completely ruled out storing it up in that shop uh, that we put up by the sun uh, silage bunker. So that's even still a possibility as well. So... Let me go ahead and finish off this field, and then we will catch back up after that. Alrighty, so that is the contract on field 34 completed. Let's go ahead and accept payment on that. $1,400. Nice. Alright, let's get back to the farm. So up here, this is that road that actually goes right by our field, our new clover field that we had just purchased as well. Which, uh, I've been looking and I've been watching the clover. It doesn't look like, as it's going through the days, that it is um, rotting away. So, hopefully that is good news for us and then we will be able to come down here cut the rest of this clover off and take it up to the farm we could either use it as compost or you know bale it up and do it that way as well for the horses um we'll have to see so we're gonna head up here and then there's something i want to show you once we get a little closer to the farm all right, so as we're coming up here to the farm, I've determined like this road is definitely a lot better uh, for access. So we are going to be putting a road in that comes up along this backside here, uh, kind of where we had already cut the grass and stuff like that. I'm going to put a road back here uh, just to be able to help us get to those fields. And I'd really like to expand that way. Uh, in the future as well so having access over this way is going to be a lot more beneficial to us in the long run as well so I think that's going to be coming up in the detailing video um, along with the placement of I'm gonna stop here real quick along with the placement of where we're going to be storing our potatoes and stuff but as you can see I have the clover bales under here and they haven't disintegrated at all they haven't rotted away so I'm pretty happy about that horses 
Um, I don't know what the horses are at. Let's take a look at the horses. Uh, could just do with a little bit of straw. Water's going to get topped up there. Coming into planting season or harvest season, I mean, you can see we still have the rest of today, five and six, seven through nine of, you know, summer is going to be most of our grass work. And even the first part of fall will have nothing to do until it's time to start working on those oats. Now I got the oats in a little bit late, so I don't know if they're going to be ready uh, early fall. But it would be nice if they are because that will allow us some time to get them out and not have to worry about rushing with the um, potatoes. I do have... I have thought I had two bales in here. I'm going to have to get another bale and get that put in here. That way the hay stays topped up as well. We can leave that open. It's going to be a pretty hot day today. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, we did a lot of the tidying up on the farm. What was that, two episodes ago where we cleaned everything up, moved the tractors around and all of that stuff. So, yeah, I think all that's next is really we're just going to wait for the grass to grow. I might pick up another contract if I can come across one. Uh, it's about time that bailing contracts come on, so possibly have one of those coming up. And worst case scenario, what I could do is I could sell my bales and just keep that contract going and collect all the bales off of there and bring them up here is an option as well, but... I'm going to check on that clover and then, yeah, maybe we'll get the rest of that field cut. So give me a few minutes. Uh, let me look into some stuff here and then we will be back. Alrighty, so we are going to go over and grab the mower and then we are going to head down to our clover field and go ahead and get that all cut up today uh, still trying to find something that I can pull in here for uh, like a loading wagon of sorts or something like that I have found something that I'm gonna have a little mess around with on uh, GE and see how that turns out I've also looked at uh, a couple other things that are already made just to see it's the actual John Deere uh, loading wagon that was, I can't remember who the original author was, um, <clears throat> but I'm looking at possibly getting that and messing around with that a little bit. Uh, it seems like the only issue I'm really having is the the hitbox for it is kind of small, so I don't know. I'm going to pull that into GE as well and uh, just see what I can figure out with that, if there's anything I can do there. Uh, if not, I do have a backup plan for that. So we are not just creating bales the entire time. Alright, got all that hooked up. Now let us head down to our clover field. And we'll get that cut up. And I think with that, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw up a time lapse. Uh, and then we'll just end the video off of that uh, since I have a good bit of work left to do. It's coming on uh, 2 o'clock already, so this should take us clear up till the uh, end of the day. And then I think from there on out I will catch you guys in the next episode. So let's go ahead and um, let's kick this off into good old fashion time-lapse mode. 